What's up guys and welcome back to Shepherding Peppers Farm. I'm Natasha and today we are going to be talking a little bit about how we dehydrate ground beef so we can store this in our pantry so it saves us space on our canning jars. So if you guys are like me, we use our canner a lot because of all the food that we grow. And some things you have to put in a canner, some things we don't really dehydrate, but recently we've gotten really into dehydrating things because it's a great shelf stable option to preserving food and not having to use all of our canning jars. Therefore, we don't have to buy extra when we run out of space. So, the most recent endeavor we've embarked on has been ground beef, and this has been a huge success in our house to the point that I wanted to share it with you guys so you could possibly implement this in your own house. So, we would typically put ground beef after we cook it into the canner, and that way we could just pull out some canned ground beef and we could have it in you know, spaghetti sauce or, or stroganoff or a multitude of things that you can essentially do with ground beef. And sometimes here on the farm, it takes me a minute to realize that I have forgotten to pull something out for dinner. So I like to have canned chicken and canned ground beef on hand for the days that I didn't get around to preparing dinner ahead of time. I do shoot to do that, but lately it's been a little hit or miss. So having canned meats available for dinner makes the process way easier. Taking that a step further though, having dehydrated ground beef is also a really easy way to have food prepared in your own house that can use it as food storage, you can use it as preparations for the future, or you can use it like me to ensure that you have something quick on hand to make for dinner for your family on busy nights. So. I'm going to walk you through the process of how we dehydrate ground beef and how we store it. It's very, very simple. And welcome to this morning's video. So one thing I would like to note is most recommendations is that dehydrated ground beef stays good for about a year if you put it in the pantry in a glass jar. You can take it a little bit further than that if you add um, oxygen absorbers and you take all the oxygen out of the jar, it will help it stay fresh a little bit longer, but that is the recommendation, is about a year. So keep that in mind. So the process we're gonna be using today is taking our ground beef. I actually took this out of the freezer and I defrosted it. And we're gonna cook this on the stove with our cast iron skillet, bless you. And after we're done cooking it, we are going to rinse it really, really, really well to get the excess fat off of it because you don't want that going into your dehydrator as much as possible. After we've rinsed it off, we are going to put that into the dehydrator for several hours at 150 degrees. And then we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna store it and I'm gonna walk you through all of all the steps that you need to do that. Let's get to it. We use a cast iron skillet. You can use whatever it is that you use to cook ground beef, but we are big fans of this ginormous cast iron skillet. One other thing I wanna note is I don't put any seasonings in this ground beef while I'm cooking it. When I dehydrate it, if you do that, your dehydrator is gonna smell really bad. It doesn't matter how great the seasonings are, it stinks. So just, I mean, that's my opinion. My husband doesn't feel like it smells bad. He's like, oh, it smells like a hamburger. I don't know, it wasn't for me. So, plus you never know if that ground beef you're gonna to wanna to use in a different recipe that doesn't call for the seasonings that you would want. So just for easy purposes, I just don't put seasonings in my ground beef when I dehydrate it. I'm about to show you guys while this is cooking, how we rehydrate beef so it saves time. So one cup of dehydrated ground beef is going to equate to one pound of rehydrated ground beef, roughly. So I'm gonna take a half a cup measuring cup because it fits in the jar easier. No. Put it into a pot with a lid, a pot that can have a lid. I'm gonna cover this with water. Here, let me kind of put this up so you guys can see it. We're gonna cover this with water and put a lid on it and I'm gonna let it sit for like 15 minutes or so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to scoop this ground beef into the strainer so the excess oil and fat can drain off and then we are going to rinse the beef really, really well. 
so now we are going to go ahead and get some wax paper out and we are going to put it on top of our dehydrating sheets and we're going to put a thin layer of ground beef over the top of it and put that in the dehydrator at 150 degrees. Okay, since I don't have anything to pull out of the dehydrator to show you guys, we're gonna have to resume this either later tonight or tomorrow, because I like to make sure that the ground beef is really, really, really dry, and we have our dehydrator in the garage, and it's still a little humid in there, so sometimes our, de sometimes our dehydrating process can take a little bit longer than normal just because of the humidity in the garage, whereas I know some people will keep theirs in their kitchen or in their basement, I just don't have the space for that. So. We will pick this up later. So if you see a big difference, that's why. So this is our beef that was rehydrated. I drained it and then added fresh water and taco seasoning and we are stirring this up and we're gonna let it simmer down and then we're gonna have tacos for dinner. So it's a real simple, easy way to preserve food and save yourself on canning jars. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is the next day, mostly because I have a hard time finishing things with all the kids and whatnot. We did cook 13 pounds of ground beef yesterday. We already dehydrated some of it and pulled it out of the dehydrator. And this is about the last section of this dehydrated beef. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it in here. And we're gonna put this up in our pantry and we have dehydrated beef for the future. The tacos were a huge hit last night. You cannot taste the difference between rehydrated beef and just regularly cooked ground beef. So I hope y'all enjoyed doing this with me today and I will see y'all next time. Bye.